Hey everyone! For this week's art activity, we are going to be drawing a turkey. Um, in a couple weeks, it's going to be Thanksgiving, and it's a holiday where people like to talk about what they are thankful for, things that things and people that they are happy to have and be around each day. So we are going to draw a turkey that might not look like a real turkey, but that's okay because we're going to learn about real turkeys too in a different video. So for this activity, you're going to need the piece of plain paper, crayons, a pencil, and probably an older um, adult or sibling or someone to help you write and trace. For this first part, I'm going to be using a marker, but you should use a pencil. I'm only using the marker so you're able to see it in the video. So go ahead and get out a pencil for this. And you're going to trace your hand. Kind of tickles. Awesome. And there might be some spots that don't connect the whole way. You'll notice I didn't trace my wrist. I'm going to connect the bottom of my hand. Now, one, two, three, four, five. There are five fingers. But what I actually see is one turkey head. and four feathers. I'm gonna put some legs on my turkey too. On each of the fingers, ask an older friend to help you write something that you are thankful for. Hmm, I think I am thankful for my family. I am thankful for school and the many different ways school looks this year. I am thankful for my friends that help me and share with me when I need them. And I am thankful I'm thankful, I think, for, hmm, I want to write, I'm going to write being creative. I'm going to write the word creative. And to me, that means even when things are strange times and we have to do school from home or we have to wear these silly masks, I can still find ways to be creative and see my family and friends and take care of each other. When you have your turkey drawn, you may color it any way that you want. But I think usually, so turkeys are camouflaged and can blend in with surroundings, their bodies, their feathers on their body are usually brown, different shades of brown for sure. But this isn't just any ordinary turkey. It certainly doesn't look like any turkey I have ever seen before. So that means I can color it however I want. Yes, I can make the turkey's body brown, but hmm, what if I wanted to give it a purple feather? Maybe I won't color over top of the word so I can still see it. And I want to give my turkey a red feather. You can pick any colors you want. You do not have to pick these colors just because I did. But I would recommend leaving your red crane out because we're going to need it again in a minute. I want my turkey to have 
Hmm, a green feather. Ooh, that's a lovely shade of green. And I think... <sighs> I think on my creative feather, I'm going to make it a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow. Green. Blue. Indigo. Mm, which one is that? It's kind of a purpley blue color. I'll go with this one. Mm, maybe this one. And violet. But our turkey, we need to color the beak. Usually their beaks are orange. And like I said, we'll talk about parts of a turkey in a different video. They have red things on their beak. They're called snoods. I think it's a pretty funny word. You can also take your turkey and draw a background for it. A background in a picture is like the setting of a story. It tells you where it is. So my turkey standing on grass, and perhaps there's a tree in the background. I don't think I'm the best artist, but I like to be creative and see what happens. So you can draw your turkey and decorate it any way that you want and make the background of your picture anything that you want it to be. You can even put your turkey in outer space if you want to. But I'm excited to see what pictures you draw and what things you're creative for. Thank you for drawing along with me.